And welcome everybody on YouTube for a new deck for me, Mono Blue Aggro. I know this is probably not a new deck for basically everybody, but uh, I've played against this deck quite a bit. This is going to be my first time actually playing the deck. Um, we do have four ops down here, um, one Essence Scatter. Uh, it's going to be my first time playing the deck myself. <clears throat> Yeah, Tungsi, that's what people say, but I have certainly never, like, just haven't, so I don't know. Um, anyway, so this is our, our our next deck. We got a donation for yesterday to play this deck today, uh, since I haven't played it before. So this is a donation deck uh, to try out. So, yeah, we're going to try to out-tempo our opponents, get some Curious Obsessions down, do all that kind of stuff. I uh, do want to remind you... Wait, why do I only... Why do I have 19 islands? Shouldn't I have 20 islands? Where's my 20th island? Am I only playing 19? I feel like I need a 20th island. Um, want to remind you, on Friday, on stream here from 3 to 10 Eastern, we're going to be talking about all the cards from Ravnica Allegiance. We're going to be going through each and every one. Um, and giving it a standard grade. 19 is okay. Okay, so I don't need a 20th. Yeah, what if I just cut this Essence Scatter and play 20? I kind of want the clean fours across the board. Yeah, I like that. Clean fours across the board in 20 islands. So Friday... 3 to 10, talking all the guilds of Ravnica cards. Or, sorry, Ravnica Allegiance cards. <laughs> Giving them lighter grade um, for that. And then, yeah, I'll be I'll be uh, recording. You know, we'll be going color by color. I'll be recording it and putting it up onto YouTube afterwards also. So if you are somebody that's not able to make the uh, stream, um, then uh, watch for that on YouTube afterwards. Yeah, I like four war kites, honestly. I've been seeing four war, war four war kites uh, quite a bit um, in lists that are doing good, and I like that a lot. I like war kite marauder. Um, I think it's really good. So, yep, I like it. All right, let me get this deck. Let me get the deck list updated to Stream Decker, Mono, Blue, Aggro, and then we're gonna go ahead and get into our league. Let's go. There we go. Deckless command updated. I feel like there was something else that I was going to be saying besides just that. I want to be saying it to be getting of the video. Oh, right. That was the other thing I was going to be talking about was uh, then we are... Ravnica Allegiance is almost here on Arena. So it's coming out the 17th. So the 17th, I'm going to have a 12-hour stream where I'm going to be playing sealed all day, um, trying to gain a lot of cards, you know, because we need, we need to build up the collection. So I'm going to be playing sealed all day, 12 hours uh, on the 11th. Um... Starting at 11, or sorry, on the 17th, starting at 11, 11 to 11. And I think I may go back to back. We'll see how I'm feeling. I think I may go on the, on the 18th also, back to back and do a 12 hour stream again. I think we go back to back 12 hour streams. And we'll be playing limited. Uh, doing sealed first, and then we'll once we're kind of comfortable with the format, we'll move over to draft whenever we really kind of find some archetypes we want to draft, and then go over to draft and start drafting also. Yeah, I expect it to be a good limited format. Um, there really hasn't been too bad of limited formats here recently. Neuritis with that tier 3 sub for the 15th month in a row. Everybody, we need some hype in the chat for Neuritis. Getting a tier 3 sub. That is 
just amazing. Thank you so much. I want to save the trickster for a drake. So let's just get Marauder out here. And that's our fourth sub of the day. So if you're enjoying the stream also and like to help support myself as a streamer, consider also hitting the subscribe button in the top right hand corner. You get 19 awesome emotes, just like the Dirty Seesaw. Getting that sub in as well. That gets some hype. Thank you so much, Seesaw. Feel the heat of my flames! Bolus told me I should do this. Dragons. Alright, we're buying a pack after this. Celebrate getting to five subs. Um. Yeah, I'm in there. We don't have anything to protect this Tempest Gin with. So I'm fine with it. I'm attacking my opponent. <clears throat> Alright, let's vote for what, what pack do y'all you, do want us to open up here in a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and start this poll. You got 60 seconds. We're either, uh, either getting M19... Dominaria, Rivals of Ixalan, or Ixalan. There you go. 60 second pull. M M19, D O M R I X or X L N. <laughs> what madness! I'm glad we only have 19 lands right about now. I've already drawn six of our 19. Drake, not a dragon. What's really the difference between a drake and a dragon? I guess I don't really even Bonus know. Told me I should do this. Like this looks like a dragon to me, but it's not. It's a drake. Is a drake like a ba baby dragon? I feel like a drake is a baby dragon. Dragons have four limbs and drakes have two. Oh, well see, I learned something today. I did not know, did not know that. So, so drakes don't have front, okay, they don't have front limbs, but dragons do. This. I learned something today, this. I did not know that. I'm gonna wait on, on the trickster flashing in before combat. Like that thing's just a four four right now, the thing's gonna get a lot scarier. I'm gonna wait a tad on that. That set, uh, that island art is from M19. Alright. Whatever. You got me. Okay. I, I think I do kind of do want scatters here. They're playing a bunch of dragons. I guess niv it's not not going to be counterable. So let's, we got to get the deep freeze in. Surge Mare is awesome. You know, like they're, they're relying on these red removal spells that Surge Mare uh, doesn't die to. Um, I 
Let's see. Maybe I don't need as many spell pierce because they they have cheap spells also. So spell pierce probably isn't gonna really go get there for me. So I'm thinking of taking those out and calling it a day. Calling it a day. Nice, good job, J Jack. Good job. All right. Hopefully, we have an earlier career obsession or something like that this time. We had uh, six lands there pretty quickly, which is not what we want in our 19 land deck at all. I don't know exactly what I want to opt for. I mean, I'm thinking just another land. Man, that card is great. It's kind of the problem with opt. What do y'all think here? I want to keep the Tempest Gin, but I also want to have four mana where I can play Tempest Gin and have Dive Down to protect it. All right, land, go for land, go to the bottom. One is good enough, gotcha. All right, so my opponent has shock. So I'm gonna double spell here. I went ahead and went to my second main in case they wanted to shock that. Oh, good. They did. I would rather them shock that, of course, than Storm Tamer. So, pretty glad there. And, yeah, good good call on the Tempest Gen to the bottom. I think we can get a little bit more out of our Curious Obsession. If I just play Curious Obsession there, um, I don't know. I want to be able to play Curious Obsession and have and have double protection. I want I want dive down on the card, and I want Storm Tamer available. So I want I want double protection instead of just single protection. Yeah, so now I'm going with Curious Obsession because we got double protection. If I would have just played Obsession there that last turn on the Storm Tamer, it would have been a lot harder to get through a Drake. So I'm pretty happy with what we did. I guess the problem is another Drake. I don't think I'm playing this deck wrong, Gur. I read a lot about this deck today. And I am actually very happy with how I've been playing this game. I 
think I'm playing this game well myself. All right, now we can go to land on the bottom. Kind of hard to imagine times you would not want to draw the land. Legends deck gets demolished by red deck wins. Um, I don't know. There's there's four Dawnbringers, a couple Shalais, a couple Aurelias. You have a couple Tristanis. Those are all cards that are awesome against red. You have four Deafening Clarions, which are awesome against red. I I think it would be pretty hard for red to win that that matchup. Ray could certainly win. Things would have to go right for it, for sure. Alright, no dive down is perfect for us. That's gonna be lethal. So we saw Sark in the first game. Sarkin was a little odd. I kind of want to play a scatter or two. Yes, this deck would be very viable for a new new player. Yep, this is a good standard deck to get it in for cheap and paper. Yep, absolutely. I like Surge Mare quite a bit. They can't really kill Surge Mare. Like lava coil shock, like their their cards like that don't kill it. Um, I like surge mare. We can put a curious obsession on that, and it's gonna be really hard for them to kill it. So they don't kill Surge Mare, but you don't have time to sink mana into it. I can certainly see that. I can certainly see that. Yeah, Surge Mare is for, yeah, the red decks, Golgari, and this matchup. I think it's for this matchup also. Sleep's really expensive. How are y'all liking this hand? We're on the draw, so it's, you know, being on the draw, you know, we get that extra card. I don't necessarily hate this hand. Yeah, so if we consider the opt as a land, and we have like two lands and those, I don't really hate this. Like, Tempest Gen is great. I think I'm going to keep this. It's doable. Cool. Yeah, I wish, yeah, I, wish I had one more land, but... Um... Do I want to just lead with Storm Tamer? Yeah. Get some attacking in. 
Oh yeah, like that's that's certainly the best hand, of course, is like, you know, one drop, Curious Obsession, like land and dive down. Certainly the the best hand that we could have. Hmm. Or we're not getting another land. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, we're playing against like drakes and dragons. I don't know, they they have Sarkin in their Drake deck. I think I really need to opt and look for more land here over protecting. I think I need to hit that land drop. Okay, there we go. Gotta wait till we have one more mana for Tempest Gen. Our opponent didn't hit a land drop there either. Right? Yeah, because we missed a land drop. Alright, good counter spell there. Good counter. Ah, come on. Where's that land? Uh, do I just play a gin? I could play War Kite. Maybe i just play a gin. We got two. They've already played one coil. Yeah, I'll play another one. I'll play it out. I think I should just flash in Trickster here. I, I don't really like using the Trickster on just 2-4 Drake. You know, like, we're, we're only saving two points there. Like, I want to be using Trickster on, like, you know, 8-4 Drake. Yeah, they've already gone through one lava coil. Hey, Vladimus. Going good. Going good. We had a really fun league with Nile Legends last time. Yeah, and Trickster is best when you can when you can block up and kill the Drake because it turns the Drake into a zero four. You know, like you let them attack, Trickster it, make it an O four. Get, get another land here. Let's get fifth land. We're gonna go trickster, trickster, and dive down. Yeah, they have they have their own dive down. That's good. That's good. Yeah, they they certainly have their own dive down, which is a problem for us. I don't think they would have spell pierce in this matchup. Uh, with how cheap our spells are and everything, it's usually kind of usually not too bad for us to.
What am I gonna do about this other Drake? Protect our war kite. Please, no burn spell. Alright, good. Not a burn spell, an end step. So they have they have the one beacon bolt that, that we know that can kill a war kite marauder. That's good for us. Because we have, you know, we attacked for nine there. We got we got nine coming back at him if we get to block. All right, let's see what they got. They did a lot of, you know, like, they just had Charter Course, Opt, and Discovery. And it looks like they kept both cards with Discovery. So they got to have good cards in hand. Which doesn't look, you know, that's not necessarily good for us. I mean, it, if they just put out another blocker, if they just attack with Crackling Drake and, put another, and play another Crackling Drake, just doing that uh, probably, like, kills us. So... That's that's the thing I want the least. If they just play another creature and attack. Because I have to block with Warkite Marauder, and then I can't get through their other creature. So if they have all spells, I, I that's what I want. So that is great for me. That that was that could not go better for me. They discarded Enigma Drake. I could not beat Enigma Drake. If they would have just cast Enigma Drake, I was dead. They played Be Beacon Bolt. I can deal with that. If they just played this Enigma Drake, I was dead. Oh, they have Dive Down? So, so they have Dive Down. Um... What do they get to do? They get to eat Tempest Gin and take six? And then I play my other temp Tempest Gin? worth it. I'm definitely glad they didn't they didn't play. If they would have just attacked and then played Enigma Drake, I was dead there the next turn. So I'm glad they didn't do that. We still have a chance. It's you know, we'll we'll see if if we can actually pull this off, but we got a chance. That we had an amazing draw step there with that Tempest Gen. That was certainly a very good draw step. Not dying to shock and things like that. Yeah, I think we I think we got this now. Because yeah, you're right, Brick Owl. They're gonna need like two lava coils. You know, if we just got like a if we just had like a another creep another cheap, crappy creature, that would have been bad for us. We go to blocks. Block that. We did it. One and oh. We got there.
One and oh. Thanks, green dude. Yeah. Niv was powerless against that 2-1 that there. Oh, that was a good game. Good game. Thanks, Hype to Death. Yeah, that was... Wasn't that the game that we kept a one-lander and we didn't hit our second land drop? Grixis Dragons? Yeah, we just we just faced two Golgari decks that, um, you know, just Golgari'd us. Like, Golgari's just really good, and they just had a lot of good hands and just killed us. I do not BA. Yeah, no Cures Obsession either. Whoa, five lander? Let's ship it. I mean, let's try it. Let's try it out. <laughs> Thanks, Nerex, saying for the first time piloting, that was pretty perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I, I did some reading on the deck today before this, but... Yeah, so... There we go. I'm used to playing new decks also, um, but yeah, this one... Uh, don't take my Tempest Gin. Yeah, we got 19. Um, or no, I have 20. I have 20. I did, we put the 20th land in there. Never mind, we got 20 in here. I guess I'm gonna go all. I guess I'm gonna go in on it. Yeah. Just hope we draw some protection between this draw step. And we did. Wizards retort. Very good. There we go. Ooh, next turn, another obsession. They probably have like lava coil here. Uh, those are two really good draws. Maybe they play Disinformation Campaign. Ha! Huh. Called it. Let's get going. We are obsessed with making this Merfolk Trickster work. Settle the wreckage and draft? Nice. Not sure if your opponents will play around that too much or not. Ice up, son, with a sub on Twitch Prime. Oh, we need to get a pack. We got to five subs. We didn't get a pack for our sub goal. Hey, thanks for the sub there. Really do appreciate that. Um, what, what pack won the vote? I don't even remember which one won the vote. We did the vote. Uh... Dom. Dominaria. Alright. That thought erasure was brutal. All right, so I'm going to need this opt to hit another retort. All right, they're not not doing anything. Ah, would hit retort. Neat. Like if they would have had like lava coil there, I would have looked for, you know, retort spell pierce, dive down. And then I did not cast opt on end step because I didn't want to cast it. If they have cast down, 
I didn't want to just play the opt. They cast down my trickster. Then I'm, you know, then I I have nothing. So went ahead and played that there. All right, I'm keeping Mist Cloaked Herald in my hand to discard to a disinformation campaign if that comes down again. Yeah, so no, it was not worth it to opt into turn, so that's why. Oh, I don't know, Ice Up Sun. It should have definitely said two months. That's unfortunate. I don't know. But thanks, thanks again for using it. I don't know why. Yes, it turns out drawing three cards a turn, not so bad. Not so bad. All right, and now we can opt in step because we got other protection. Uh, you Kate. Uh, I don't know, I'm going with Queso. Queso with the sub. Man, Queso is one of my absolute favorite foods. Thank you so much, Queso. Getting some hype boats. All right, we got there. Opponent didn't like that I was taking some time. All right, against Grixis Control. Hmm. I feel like I want to negate. What do I want to cut though? If I bring it in the gate. <laughs> Two video game consoles, multiple new games, Netflix shows I'm behind on, movies that I haven't seen, and yet I keep coming home from work to watch Todd Stevens play MTG. Thanks, Calandro. I'm glad I'm glad you're here. I don't think I want disdainful stroke. I want I want negate. Negate's the card I want. So that's three. What are three cards we can cut? The report I read today like had a cyborg guide where they took out two opt in literally every single match. And I don't, I don't know about how I feel about that. I could see trimming one spell pierce, one opt. And then one of the creatures. I'm not sure which one's the creature is the worst. Maybe Warkite Marauder. Alright. Yeah, you're saying Opt is the worst card. Opt to Marauder. Gotcha. Alright, so we I got rid of one opt, one spell pierce. Since we have negates also. Um, and then one uh, Marada. I could see cutting. Maybe not. I was thinking about maybe, maybe I could trim the twentieth land on the draw. Marauder, making sure they cannot block with Nikki B, Doom Whisper, does sound slightly appealing. See, that's why I like ops. We can keep this hand because of the ops. I think we're gonna need more creatures in case our opponent goes Thought Erasure, take Tempest Gin. I should certainly be waiting on that that opt. I don't need to cast it main phase there. I should certainly be waiting on it. That was not good to cast it main phase, I wasn't really thinking. Yeah, I certainly should not have cast opt yet. All right, one gin down. Thoughtsy's bug is just helping us helping us out. Helping us out. Thoughtsy's bug. 
That's the third time this stream we've gotten that Thoughtseize bug. Curious obsession at. <laughs> it's not a real bug. <laughs> the The joke is that whenever you cast Thought Seize, which Thought Erasure is just the Thought Seize in standard, um, you know, discard spell, whatever you choose to discard, they're going to, um, they're going to draw it again. Am I just discarding Tempest Gin? They have three cards in hand. Nah, Merfolk Trickster doesn't negate that. The effect, whenever Nicol Bolas enters the battlefield, that the discard effect goes onto the stack immediately. And so that, like, the... Like, even though the Trickster will make it lose any other abilities, that, that effect is already on the stack. Yeah, I don't work, for, I don't work a SCG anymore. Not a great use of my retort, but I don't know if I'm gonna just have that retort for later. And now we have Storm Tamer or. Wow. Forgot about that card. Forgot about that card. That's a good one. So why not have another? All right, we're out of Tempest Gens. Basically, we have one more. I like don't see us winning this now. Definitely got punished for using my Wizard's Retort. But that's all right. We got real fortunate to win the first game. So I'm... I'm pretty glad that we are in in this right now. Yeah, disdainful stroke is a hard counter for ritual of soot for sure. Not not their whole deck though. Like, they have lots of other cheap things. Like, the only two cards that we've seen that it counters is just Soot and Nikki B. Like, look at all these other things that doesn't counter, like these gold demises and stuff. That's the card I wanted. That was certainly the card I was hoping for. Maybe out of their three cards with no lands, they 
don't have any removal for this trickster. Maybe. Maybe not, though. Um, do I want to go down a land with the spell pierce in? I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go down, down to 19 lands, put the spell pierce in, even though we're going back on the play. You know, there's just so much interaction with our deck. Uh... Um, the game's going to go longer. We have more chances to draw land, so I'm taking the land out. Yeah, I I shouldn't have cut that spell pierce. So we're going to have all four pierces here in, especially on the play. So, you know, our best possible start is one drop, and then next turn, Curious Obsession with either pierce or dive down. So can we get one drop, Obsession, and then either a pierce or a dive down? Yeah, need a good hand here, because this is certainly, like, this is probably the worst matchup for Mono Blue, right? Just Grixis with all, all sorts of removal, hand disruption, big creatures. Like, this has got to be, like, the, the worst matchup. Playing all these Golden Demises ritual assets. Oh, no, Mono Red. I mean, besides Mono Red, of course. But anyway... <laughs> This hand, I would love to be able to play it. <laughs> I thought about putting three mana Jason here. I want to play this more because I just want to keep seven, seven cards against them, honestly. I think I could maybe pull this off. This doesn't have the highest probability of winning, but it has a probability of winning. I don't like mulliganing against the Thought Erasure deck. So they're they're helping me out, they're going down to five. If we get one land, I'm playing Torm. I'm playing other Tamer and holding up Pierce. We don't get a land, I'm just playing Tamer. Yeah, because if we draw a land, we have Pierce and then Retort. Get to get some hits in here. Which would be nice. Spell Pierce should be the take. Either land or curious obsession. So 22 cards I want to draw. Either a land or a curious obsession. Alright, not a land, but it's the curious obsession. It's the other acceptable outcome. Because that's going to find the land for us. Curious obsession always draws lands. Tilt. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Oh! Untap? Untap? No golden demise? No lava coil? No cast down? No moment of craving? We got to untap? <laughs> Garage. We kept the one lander. And we got to untap. Wow. We untapped. You have been retorted. I could just let that resolve, discard Tempest Gin, and then trickster it. To just get it away for a turn. But then it's still there for other turns. I 
I don't want to play another creature into a ritual of sit here. We're just going to trickster end step. Yeah, so they probably, like, they could have other, so I'm thinking they have Ritual of Soot, and they wanted me to counter the Bolas, and they want a Ritual of Soot. That's what I'm, that's what I'm feeling. Oh, they just have, like, Contempt? Oh, no, yeah, there's, there's Soot. How much do I want to play into another set? <laughs> do I want to go Tempest Gen, Miss Cloak Herald into another set? Maybe just Tempest Gen? Nah. It's not. Incredibly likely they have another sit, but I wouldn't be surprised. But even if they have another sit, you know, we still got more things. We've seen them have multiple golden demises, so I don't want to necessarily just like I like playing the Tempest Gin, so we're not so we're not as weak against golden demise. So they shocked in steam vents and passed the turn. Fungal infection and contempt. So I'm, playing, I'm only casting Storm Tamer this turn. What? And then they let that resolve? How are you letting that resolve? What is going on here? Okay. So why are they shocking in there? Why is shocking in their plan? Just want to take two damage? Yeah, maybe they had negate. I could see that. I could see them having negate. That's a good call. Yeah, so Storm Tamer was a pirate, so it didn't didn't die to pirate clasm. Siren Pirate Wizard. It's like a Simic creature over here. I think we're 2-0. and oh. Yeah, we saw them play two Golden Demise. So they had... We've seen two Golden Demise, two Ritual of Soot. And then they also have Pirate Clasm as well. Whoops. I don't want to concede. I want to say good, good game. <laughs> My opponent's saying good game. I'm like, good, yep, concede. Uh... The power concede as their dominance. <laughs> All right, two and zero. Oh. We are mono blue aggroing it up. So far, so good. We have defeated Grixis, and before that, we defeated something that was not Grixis. Ah, Drakes. Yeah. I really need a haircut. Wish you could donate a haircut. Uh, I'll get one soon. That's uh, so much hair. I 
I have not gotten a haircut since right after Guilds of Ravnica came out. It's like, I think maybe even like the week before the release of Guilds of Ravnica. It has been three months. Once I got a haircut. I really want, like, the haircut, I really want, like, the sides in the back. I don't like how long the sides in the back are. Oh, Orzhov Knights? Maybe our opponent's playing Orzhov Knights. And I never get to play against my own decks. It's likely that they're Esper Control, right? Maybe it is Orzhov Knights. Ah, it's some kind of life gain deck. Yeah, they missed two land drops. They were on the play. So they, they didn't play a second land the other game the other turns. Oh, I would have liked that attack. That was a bold attack. All right, up a game. Man, Mono Blue is good. Mono Blue is good. I mean, sure, we're we're playing against the starter deck here. You know, that's not you know that's whatever. But we did beat a couple other good decks there. Uh. Right there at five. I guess I just counter that. Hmm. Maybe a couple scatters instead of a couple spell pierces. I don't really know what we're you know, we're kinda of playing against starter deck. I wonder if spell pierce is gonna be that good. Our opponent's likely oh no. Um you try to get matched up against the same kind of record, but you don't always get matched up against the same the exact same record. Our opponent's likely 0-0. Oh, 0-0 no. oh, no against 2-0 no is certainly a matchup that happens. Would I rather have Scatter or Negate? I would rather just have Negate. Actually, I'm just keeping Spell Pierce in. Let's just let's just keep it. We're running back to sixty. I'm gonna keep it. Um, we have. We have four of our five card combo. All we need is, all we're missing is another island. But we have one drop obsession, dive down. And also, you know, I, I'm not sure if my opponent's gonna have removal spell right away. Well, combo's not going so well. I 
That's a lot of life. Ooh, no attack. Bold, but respectable. Alright, we gotta find a land here, right? Right? <laughs> uh, maybe not. I shouldn't just... Maybe I shouldn't discard that Miss Cloak Herald. Oh, there it is. All right, we found it. Found the land. We're good to go. Oh, I sh that was really greedy of me playing that second obsession. That was really greedy. Yeah, I should have played Opt instead of Obsession. I was really greedy. Yeah, sure, it looks like the starter deck's gonna win. I'm gonna trickster the pride mate. Taking six. Going to two. That means we're dead. So I can't make this block. Still dead. I can't make that block either. I feel myself dead. All right, need to opt, not cast the obsession. I lost the game there. Um, game three. Game three. It's okay. We can lose one game. That's not a match. Game three. Hmm. Hand's missing a few things. Yeah, we did have very good odds to get a land there, but we didn't. Should just cast the opt. So we're looking for like, you know, basically spells. Tempest Gen would be good. Curious Obsession would be fine. Not so great. Ooh, this could not get any worse. Island, island. Uh, I have not heard of brand new. Write them down. So 
some good handwriting. There's Tempest Gen. And everything's okay. We found a Tempest Gen. We're good to go. need that trickster around. I'd rather save the retort for something else. I, I obviously want to save the dive down for the Tempest Gen here, but I'd rather save the retort for like a second spell that deals with Gen. Huh. That's a good draw. That's That's really good. That was really good, because now we get to just attack with this Tempest Gin, and we can block with the other one. So I was considering just blocking with this Gin anyway and having dive down to block and then, you know, retort, but yeah, we got this. I shouldn't play that yet. I got Curious Obsession. I should draw my card first. We could draw another Tempest Gin. Or an island. Alright, 3-0. And oh, yeah, we could have certainly could have been in trouble with some things there, but we've been doing a really good job of drawing Tempest Gin, and I think that that has been correlating with victories for us. We have been doing a very good job with drawing Tempest Gin. I think Hawkeye is excited back there for us. All right, Dash Assault, have a good night. Thanks for watching. I don't I don't know about this one. This one's close. I don't know about this one. Let's do 30 second pull. We're on the draw. You got 30 seconds. You don't have you don't have very long. Um, whenever this comes up. 30 second pull type keep or mole. Keep or mole. 30 seconds. All right, well, everybody's just saying mole, so I'm just going to look it. Didn't need much of a pull there. Alright, we got two draws here for another land. Of course, we don't have, like, any protection. What if I block? What if I block? So I'm, casting, I'm playing the Curious Obsession over the Opt this turn. 
because I think it's more important to to have obsession in play than uh, than hit the land drop. So I think we're certainly going to be relying on on the herald here. Now I wish I would have um, put that land on the bottom. So keeping another wild growth walker. Not out of this yet. They're down to one card. We're not out of this yet. Come on, deck, we need Tempest Gen. Where's our Tempest Gens at? Yeah, we need our genies. Five, go to I'll take five. Yeah, we're honestly not out of this. They have three mana and two cards. It's not a lot of mana and cards. No attacks. No attacks, says our opponent. Let's keep more cards in hand to bluff more things. I guess not Vivian. Must be Carnage Tyrant. Or not. Maybe it's just another land. Maybe it's maybe it's a removal spell they didn't want to cast. Why am I not attacking with this thing? That thing should be attacking. That thing probably should have been attacking the last couple turns. So they gained six. And get a 3-5 and a 2-4. This is so risky. Ooh, getting there. They haven't, I feel like they would have killed one of our creatures if they had removal, right? Fourth Wow Growth Walker. I 
Uh, that's a great draw. Why didn't I attack with that Miss Cloak Herald one other turn earlier? No. No, J Light Ranger. Get out of here. I mean, the game's not over, but if you want to concede. Wow. Now it's over. Why would you make that attack? Why would you not just leave back one blocker? You just leave back a blocker. Yeah, opponent two tilted. All right, scatter seems good. Surge mare blocks things. Um, think we play those right, and then we. Cut a couple opt and a couple spell peers. Is this is this really a sleep matchup? I don't think this is a sleep matchup. Y'all are saying exclusion sleep. Exclusion mage does reset walkers. It doesn't mean I want to put it in my deck, but it does do that does basically nothing else whatsoever that I'd possibly want. So, yep. I'll just counter their explore creatures. I like that. Yeah, Pierce is, is really good against Vivian. For sure. Hmm. So I guess we can't keep this hand. I mean, one Storm Tamer can protect the other. Theoretically. I could just... Obsession... I could put... I could put... It, I could, like, split the Obsessions. Put a one on one and one. really want to throw that other obsession on there. Don't get greedy. All right. Never be greedy. It's just going to be J Light Ranger this turn. And I'm going to be sad. No J Light. Cast down. Cast down. Ugh. See? We got that other one on there. All right, Tempest Jins, where you at? We need Lance and Tempest Gens. That's not that. That's a jump blocker. That's a jump blocker. We found some jump blockers. Uh, they, had, they had cast down on, on three. But yeah. No, get out of here. What are you doing? You think you're going to do that again? Come on. Give me a break. Land. Tempest Gen. Alright, there's land. Okay. Not the worst. Let's get Storm Tamer. And then I can have Trickster plus Spell Pierce or Opt.
Oh, yeah. Thank you. Go ahead. Play another one. Don't get that three life. Alright, their only card left in hand is... That crappy Nullhide Ferox. We are very curious. We have an obsession with being curious. Quite the obsession. Storm Tamer. Storm Tamer. No. Work Height. Work Height just costs more mana. You know, they draw one card. I'll have a Spell Pierce or a Dive Down Up. I don't think I really need both. We're taking three. Let's get these. Let's do some trading. Down to seven. That's a good card. I think we got this. I think we got this. I mean, they can cast spells. They just got to pay two extra mana, which means it's going to be even better for Spell Pierce. I'd like some more chump blockers. Oh, that's that's a great card. So we gin and pass. Kings and of promise. Go to one. Now we'll just block here. And I'll just dive down the temp the Tempest Gin. Make it a six seven. And then uh We'll still be good. I didn't need the the trickster there. I was only I was only playing the trickster if they had a explore thing. There we go. All right. Beat up on Golgari. Ugh. Easy game two. I think that. I think that worked a lot better that we didn't fill our deck with cards like Exclusion Mage and Sleep and all sorts of clunky cards like that. I think it was good we didn't sideboard all that stuff. Dude, maybe this is the best deck in the format. This deck's great. I've I've only played this this deck in four matches and we've won all four. We beat Golgari, we beat Grixis, we beat Is it Drakes. All these decks that are like trying to kill our things. <laughs> Whenever I see you play a deck, I'm like, yes, this deck is sweet. I can't wait to go 5-0. And then I make it and play it and somehow manage to draw Swamp in my mono white deck. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And then we also beat a, a black-white starter deck. Yeah, that was our other one. The, the other three were good, though. Um... Yeah, we don't have Curious Obsession. Our opponent's down to six cards. I kind of like our, our hand on the draw. I like Tempest Gin and Wizard's Retort. Come 
Come on, opponent, go ahead and attack like the other one did. I am snap blocking if our opponent attacks. Snap caster blocking. Not expecting the second cast down. Nobody expects the second cast down. I was I was promised a, a block. You, that's correct. You were promised a block. Bottom. Alright, I'm gonna go back and watch the VOD, but what did you think of the Naya Legends deck you played earlier? Oh, it was so much fun. I loved it. It was great. I'm not gonna play Tempest Jin into a Chupacabra. You're not gonna give me that easy, opponent. Oh, yep. Yeah. I need to. The Naya Legends is ready to go up on YouTube. I'm gonna go put that one up right now. All right, do I want to counter that? I guess I counter that. Yeah. I'm just not gonna use that counter again. Unless I drew a land. We drew the land. Because cause the, the Storm Tamer protects the Jin from a second Chupacabra. Oh no. Oh no. What is that thing? Why is it so big? What is that? What is that? It has so many arms. What is that thing? There's a tax. You gotta pay two more. Can you pay the tax? <laughs> no? I'd kill okay. for less. It has so many arms. Why, why so many arms? Um. Oh, Harold. Hark. Hark. The Harold. Merfolk should always block. You gotta pay the tax, opponent. We've been over this. You gotta pay the tax. Our opponent's not good at pay paying taxes. Alright, there we go. Six land. Alright, no more finalities. I don't have any more taxes for you to pay. Alright! That's game. Do, 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 looking out my back door. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got some spooky scatters in here. And... Uh, what did I do last time? I just put in those scatters and cut a couple pierces. I feel like I put in some surge mares also. Yeah, I cut two opt, two pierce. I put in a couple surge mares. That's what I did last time. Hopefully it works out again. 
I could certainly see my opponent trimming down on the top end with me piercing all their stuff. Well, I don't love this hand. We're trying it. Storm Tamer. Nah. We'll get Surge Mare in play. Do some blocking for us, Surge Mare. Are you a wizard? Not a horsefish wizard? Alright, next turn we're gonna have Storm Tamer plus Wizard's Retort. Ugh. Fish wizard. Um, certainly may not be worth it. We'll find out. Yeah, it's not Simic. Don't get the horse. Horse fish wizards. All right, so finality is a card that you know by by counter with having the wizard retort there. I'm, I'm really weak against finality, but we do have storm tamer that can still protect this tempest gen. Wow. Wow. Is this a wizard? No. Are you a wizard? No. All right, three for three. That was it. That was us trading three for three. That is what I'm talking about. All right, gotta get this other land. We gotta get Tempest Gen to have. Gotta keep the retort to save Tempest Gen. Storm Tamer, Trickster, and three mana bounce guy. Yeah, I, I don't play that three mana bounce guy very often. Nah. Vivian's oh, pretty good. So it's going to be like that, huh? All right, Curious Obsession into something else. All right, we'll take something else. So I think they're going to have Finality. Like, do I play into Finality? Yeah, why not? Let's go. I don't want them just to, uh, I don't want them just to chupacabra my thing. No, dive down. Dive down, what are you doing? Why couldn't you have been last turn? I mean, is that really a greedy play? You know, if I if I don't play the Tempest Gen, they just play Nebraska. I'm going to the next game. I'm off that game. Alright, so they still kept in a lot of expensive stuff. I feel like we're still going to be piercing our opponent. Let's get these essence scatters out here. Actually, Surge Mare. I don't want Surge Mare. I don't want that card. Give me scatters back. Maybe some negates. Maybe I want negate. Negate and scatter. All the counters. We have negates, spell pierces. Scatters. Everything. Oh, I guess Disdainful Stroke would have been... Yeah, actually Disdainful Stroke is... Yeah, that's a good card. Disdainful Stroke, that is. Um, and we do have Tempest Gin. Kind of want to keep this. Yeah, Disdainful Stroke counters Chupacabra also. Dang it. Yeah, Disdainful Stroke is, is the card. Man, that counters Chupacabra, and I should have that instead of Essence Scatter. <laughs> counters everything. I'm 
No. I'm not letting you go find your black mana. No. Get out of here. Alright, no black mana for the opponent, so that's why I'm throwing this Tempest Jin in play. Like, they would have to have Black Source plus cast down, which is not that likely. For them not playing Swamp the previous turn. But of course our opponent has it. Obviously. Stormtimer first. No. Nah. All right, and I think we got this. Stormtimer protects against Chupacabra. Spell Pierce protects against Ritual of Soots or anything like that. I think we got this. Got two turn clock. Yeah, I don't know why it's an option, right? Like, why would you ever say no? I don't want to draw that. Like, you're gonna mill out with your curious obsession deck. Just kind of like a just an unnecessary click. Five zero beating Golgari twice. Last two matches. Tempest Chin is super good. 5-0. Oh, Ooh, mono blue. Real good. So thanks for the thanks for the donation for this deck. This was a donation deck that we played. Um, by Press Polk yesterday donated. Thank you so much, Press Polk, for that. And yeah, it's a good 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 run. Good run. Yeah, this is not an expensive deck to put together, and it is just a good deck. It's just a good deck. Very good. It's not like good for being cheap. It's not like it's not like a good cheap deck. It's just simply a good deck. Thanks, Amtrox. All right, what do we get? We got to settle the wreckage. Thanks, Minasar. A Kopala, Warden of Waves, and. Dismissive Pyromancer. Sweet. So yeah, Mono Blue. Yeah, definitely Tier 1. Yeah, this is a Tier 1 deck. It's just a good deck. I don't know what I'm playing that Exclusion Mage for. Or some some of these sideboard cards I never brought in. Don't need them. Um, yeah, it's, it is bad against Red Deck Wins for sure. White Weenie. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's bad against the other aggro decks like that. Because you're really not that much of an aggro deck. Like, you're, you really are... Um, you know, trying to counter a lot of things. So people that empty their hand quickly is is pretty bad for for you because you're you're trying to uh, interact with spells on the stack and not things on the battlefield. Um, so <laughs> you'll feel so good when you go full control, block an Adanto Vanguard with something already on the battlefield. Let them pay the life for the free kill and resolve it, and then use the trickster. To clear both the indestructible and the plus two attack, plus the consecutive punt payments. Maybe rebuke in the sideboard against those aggro decks. Nah, rebuke just six mana is just not not castable. Um, that's sleep is in there that helps you out a little bit. Surge Mare is good against yeah, it's good against red. Um, it blocks you know Steamkin, Chain Whirler, all all the things in red, and you know doesn't die to Lava Coil. You know, so it's it's, it's kind of good against those red decks. It's you know a lot of decks like that are relying on damage based spells. Uh, Jeskai has a hard time with it. Jeskai, it's kind of seal away or bust. It doesn't die to Clarion or Coil or Justice Strike, things like that. Entrancing Melody is an option. I've seen some people be playing Entrancing Melody for those kind of matchups, but. All right, so don't forget to go follow the YouTube channel if you have not already. You can watch 
more replays on there. If you missed Nia Legends, definitely check out that video. That video is up on YouTube now. Definitely check out Nia Legends. That was a lot of fun. Um, and uh, let's see. Friday we're doing um, Friday we're doing all day Ravnica Allegiance uh, set review. I mean, not all day, but like you know, from three to ten normal stream, we're gonna be going through all the different. Uh, colors giving a grade to every card in Ravnica Allegiance first standard it should be a lot of fun we'll have like the the full preview so for uh for some of us will be like our first time kind of reading through the cards and everything so that'll be that'll, that's gonna be a lot of fun um and then the 17th we're only eight days away from for some of you if you are in the uh other part of the world you may be already on the 10th right now if you're across the day line and so for you it's only seven days away uh, we're going to have Ravnica Allegiance on here. I'm going to be doing a 12-hour stream from 11 to 11, playing uh, uh, Sealed and maybe some Draft, doing playing Limited and building Collection with Ravnica Allegiance. And so that'll be on the 17th. And the 18th, I may go back-to-back -back and, and do another 12-hour stream there also because I want to get the cards in Ravnica Allegiance as fast as possible so that we can start playing Standard because there just looks to be so many sweet, so many sweet cards to be playing... Um, uh in standard right now so definitely want to try to get as many cards as fast as possible i don't have a link to the youtube down below i do need to to get that but i don't have one down below but it's real easy youtube.com slash c slash todd stevens mtg real easy there um did i open the dominaria pack i don't think i did i don't think i ever did let's get a dominaria pack no i don't think i ever did all right dominaria pack Cracking it open. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we get a new rare. New rare, new rare, new rare. Ah, Fall of the Thran. That was one we already had the four of. Yeah, we're going to put the ratings of cards on YouTube. Yep, I'll be recording it on Friday and putting it up right away on YouTube. So it'll be up later on fr Friday. And then, you know, so this weekend, even if you can't catch the stream this weekend, you'll be able to watch it or... I know some people like to drive around in their cars and, and listen to YouTube videos. Like they have like the YouTube uh, TV that they can to listen to like mu YouTube music and stuff. You can, if you're doing that, you can listen to it. Cause it'll be on YouTube. I don't have like, it won't be like a podcast. I don't have a podcast for it, but similar kind of thing there. Nice. You got a mythic rare wild card. Awesome. Okay. So speaking of limited, you all kind of know the drill. I'm going to be go ahead and hosting MTG Nerd Girl. You know, she's always in the chat here. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, everybody, of course. Brick Owl, Rev Daddy, see you all tomorrow. Um, you know, Holy Avatar, Vladimir, Streak Almighty, uh, Edolf. Thanks, thanks everybody. Um, have a wonderful night. I'll see you all tomorrow. And there we go. Real Horatio. Zerf, of course. Good night, y'all.